My email inbox is basically full of writers asking me the same question. Should I still start freelance writing in 2024 into 2025? Is it still actually worth it with chat GPT and everything else going on? I'm here to tell you, yes, absolutely it is. And let me explain why. Now, if you're new around here, hi, my name is Jordan. I am a freelance writer and copywriter and freelance writing coach. And I've been doing all of that for over eight years. Now let's talk about why starting freelance writing right now is actually a really good idea. Reason number one, layoffs for full-time jobs right now are kind of crazy, but that means freelancers are in demand. We've all seen it. Companies are laying people off left and right, especially in the copywriting realm or whatever. You scroll LinkedIn and you see another layoff. It's crazy. But here's what not a lot of people are talking about. Because of all those layoffs, these companies are now hiring freelancers to take on the role of those team members that no longer work there. So while it might look a little bleak if you're kind of doom scrolling or whatever, what I'm actually seeing is that the freelance market is going well for writers who are marketing themselves correctly, even total beginners. But the key phrase there is marketing themselves correctly. 99% of writers are not doing that. So if you're seeing someone saying freelance writing isn't working right now, I'm not able to get clients, I would bet you that there is something wrong with their marketing strategy, whether it's their niche, the clients they're targeting, their website is not professional enough, their samples aren't good enough, and they are not cold emailing properly. One of those five things is wrong if you're not able to get clients right now. And yeah, you do need to be setting up a real business and cold emailing in today's market because you don't want to be competing against 20 to 50 proposals on Upwork and you sure don't want to be competing against dozens or hundreds of commenters on LinkedIn anytime a job posting goes live over there. The key to success today is marketing yourself totally independently of any sites in starting a real freelance writing business. I actually just created an all new class covering how to get to 5K a month freelance writing as a beginner. Up to date for today's market. Very, very important with AI and all the new stuff going on that you get up to date marketing strategies because a lot of stuff going around online is outdated. But yeah, I wanna teach you how to make five grand a month or more freelance writing while working 25 hours per week or less. For me, I've dealt with chronic health issues, among other things, so I'm very passionate about helping people make a full-time income while only working part-time hours, and that's what you'll learn how to do in the free class, so sign up below, and yes, a replay is available. And by the way, right now, if you're watching this video pretty soon after it comes out, this is a great time of year to start freelance writing. A lot of companies are trying to close out their year strong and or preparing for Q1 of next year, so please, please do not miss out on this amazing opportunity to get started. Reason number two that you should start freelance writing right now is every day you wait to start freelance writing is a day you miss out on the financial freedom you want. If you're in a job where you're living paycheck to paycheck and barely scraping by, first of all, let me say I have been there too. Most of my jobs before I started freelance writing were really crappy call center jobs where I got yelled at by people whose internet wasn't working and retail jobs Similarly, a lot of getting yelled at and not making very much money. But here's the truth. I wish someone would have taken me and shook me up and told me nothing changes if nothing changes, right? You are going to have to step outside of your comfort zone to get to that next level that you want to get to. Just like I did when I started freelance writing, even though I was a terrified and inexperienced beginner. Because on the other side of that is the financial freedom, the time freedom, everything you want. For me right now, I almost never work more than 20 to 25 hours a week. Thanks to my business, I've been able to travel full time, have financial freedom, move across the country into a house that I absolutely love, and so many things. And I would not be in this position today had I not taken that first scary leap. Now you might be thinking, well, I don't want to invest in myself before I'm already making money freelance writing. Sometimes I hear that from writers who I tell to go make a website for themselves, for example. They say that they don't want to do that. But I got to tell you, that mindset is killing your ability to move forward. I've seen so many writers unwilling to invest even $20 in setting up a site for themselves. And as a result, they're not getting clients because nobody's taking them seriously. Perception is reality in marketing. Your perception, the client's perception of you is highly dependent on the quality of your freelance writer website. Quick side note, if you want your writer website pre-built and ready to go, download the zip file, pop it in and get the whole site set up, that is available inside my Killer Cold Emailing 2.0 program, which is opening soon. 
Get on the waitlist down below because the first 20 waitlisters to enroll are getting free coaching from me as well, which is pretty cool. Not something I've ever offered before. The bottom line is if you treat freelance writing like a hobby though, it's gonna stay a hobby. You gotta take some risks and treat it like a business even when it feels scary. I'm a big believer in taking a tiny step backwards in order to make a huge leap forward later on. You just gotta be smart about it. This business owner mindset is key to creating real financial freedom and a sustainable business where you get a high paying clients and make a full time income while working part time hours. But every day you wait to start that business, you're waiting for the confidence, you're waiting for the guts to go for it or waiting to feel ready or waiting to know enough about SEO. Another side note, you don't have to know any SEO at all to start freelance writing, but you're waiting for something. Comment below and let me know what it is you're waiting for to start. I would love to know because I would love to help you overcome that if it's a mindset issue. Because I really, really want you to do this even though it's scary. Putting it off is not serving you. And more time passing is not going to build your confidence. Taking action and seeing the results from those actions, that is what's going to build your confidence over time. Reason number three to start freelance writing today not next month, not next year, is because freelance writing gives you more time for what matters. When I look around, I feel like so many people are just living life on autopilot. Wake up, drive to work, drink a coffee, sit down, work, go to your lunch break, finish work, go to the gym, go home, watch TV, go to sleep. Have you guys seen that episode of SpongeBob where Squidward does that? It's super fucking depressing. Scared the crap out of me. That episode of Spongebob alone should scare you into starting your dream business and doing exactly what you want to do with your life. Because being chained to your desk or working a job you hate with barely any time left for your family, hobbies, or health is not how life should be. That is why I'm so passionate about teaching not just freelance writing, but writing in a way where you can make a full-time living working part-time hours. As someone who has had multiple chronic illnesses and good old CPTSD, being able to work part-time hours and still make a full-time income has been truly life-changing for me. It's given me the flexibility and the freedom to travel, focus on what I love, focus on healing, take care of myself, all these amazing things I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Plus, it's given me time to work on my novel. As the time of filming this, I actually just finished writing my first draft of my first ever novel, so that's exciting. And I just got my first ever flash fiction piece accepted for publication in an amazing lit mag that I am so honored to be featured in. It's not live yet, but when it is live, I'll let you guys know here. But yeah, that is the kind of stuff that has been happening for me. And I honestly don't think I'd have the energy for a lot of that if I were working full-time hours. I mean, it would be really, really hard. So yeah, freelance writing is about financial freedom, but it's also about time freedom, doing the things you love, and setting yourself up for financial security, building up those savings, financial security long into the future. Every day you wait to start freelance writing is another day you're missing out on the life that you really want. Now, if you're feeling like you want to do this, you want to make freelance writing a priority, then I would love to invite you to register for my free live class link below. And look, I know a lot of these classes suck. I know a lot of these linked classes, you've seen them from quote unquote gurus and they're absolutely terrible. They just drone on and on and they're full of crap. But I promise this one is good. It's going to give you some real actionable takeaways that you can use to grow your business and understand what it takes to get clients in 2024 even if you got zero experience. We're gonna talk about how to avoid competing with AI and other writers, how to 10 times your cold email outreach results with one simple thing, and a lot more stuff relevant to beginners and also writers who have some experience but want better high paying clients. So click the link below, grab your spot now. I'm gonna be teaching the class live here actually, but a replay will be available probably only for like 48 hours for a while, so yeah. You want to get on the list and try to show up live if you can. I love hanging out with you guys. I would love to do a little interactive Q&A with you guys at the end of the training and answer any and all questions that you have. Remember, you are so much closer to the life you want than you think. I know for me, when I look back, the life that I wanted was just on the other side of the action I was too afraid to take. So don't be afraid to take action. We got to feel the fear and do it anyway. That's all for me, my friends. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.